I don't have a credit card, I just can't pay. Just, and that's very sad for us. So, in Mexican culture, we have a method called Tanda, which, uh, in a collaborative way, we uh, borrow each other, well, in a group of people, we borrow each other money. Um, in a period of certain 15 days, a month, uh, it depends on the frequency. So uh, we borrow each other the money. So um, at first, um, a, pe a person get. Um, I'm so sorry because I'm nervous. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I get the You know, the nervous. I'm always nervous. Um, so what's the problem with Tana? Uh, the person who is organizing the Tana maybe runs out with the money because it's an informal method for uh, making a fund or, and uh, everyone has to be uh, on time every, uh, on every pay so if a person gets late you, uh, everyone gets uh, their money late so what we're going to do is create a platform where uh, using this tandem method everyone get their money safe and in time so we are including all the people that doesn't belong right now to the financial system using our platform, that, and that's very interesting for for country. Um, right. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and who was your plan, pitcher? <laughs> Take it away. Thank you. Uh, well, as Victor mentioned, 43% uh, of Mexico's population don't have uh, access to a credit or any other type of bank loans. Um, this, imagine if they have an emergency, a financial emergency, uh, well, they're not going to be able to get out of this emergency. And sometimes they, they use uh, informal ways of saving, uh, sometimes running the risk of getting ripped off by people, maybe someone ran off with their money, or people don't not make payments on time. Um, we specifically solve this problem. We're trying to a platform that um, allows, uh, that helps them, um, well, we organize the group, and we make sure that everyone gets their payment on time and we make sure also that the payment gets done on time. We are Tandaru and financial inclusion has never been this simple. So this is mostly going to be two questions. Mostly it's going to be between people that know each other or can it be with completely random strangers? Uh, we use strangers. Uh, the platform uh, trusts like the other people don't know. But... Why? No. It's, it's going to be a 
a way for strangers. Uh, imagine it like a crowdfunding where people uh, deposit uh, a certain amount of amount, a certain amount of money every bi-weekly, and the group decides uh, to take turns on a, like a bi-weekly basis. Who gets to have the the total amount of the group, and everyone gets paid um, until the cycles run out. Yeah, cool. So strange. Right. Yeah, it's okay. So my, my we want to build a community for them to like a safe community. For them. So my next question is, how are you going to prevent? Um, I, I know how it kind of works. So let's say that like, I got I won the raffle and I get the money in the first month, right? What's going to prevent? What's going to make me make those deposits for the rest of the month? I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? You know, like Tanda, like you basically raffle off who's going to get the money in which month, right? If yeah. each one of us uh, put in fifty dollars each month for four months, the first month Elia gets everything, and then Mitch gets it, and the second month, etc. So yeah. if on the yeah, Tanda. Yeah, <laughs> I know. So basically, what I'm asking is, if I get the money in the first month, I get these people's hundred and fifty dollars. Yes. What is going to make me make those deposits on month two, three, and four? Yes, when you register, you have to sign up with a, a debit card. And well, if you don't have access to a bank, we have in Mexico what are called OXOs. They're like Seven Eleven, where uh, you can go make a deposit to your account. Right, but what's going to make me make that deposit? Like, I, a debit card can be cancelled and that's that. Or I can just simply not go to the OXO and not make the deposit. How are you going to make sure that these guys are not are, are going to get their money? Or that, that I'm going to make the deposit? Yes, unfortunately, well, we can make sure of all the users, but our number one rule is for them to make the payment on time. We want to make that really clear. Because that's what builds the fundamental... That's what builds the trust on their user. So, if... Obviously, we can make sure that everyone does that, but we're going to run an internal ranking system when we're going to eventually uh, remove those people of uh, our platform until everyone that is loyal to each other is on the platform. Have you launched the product? Have you got people that have signed up? What's the state? Um, well, yes, we have. Well, we didn't launch the, pro the product. We made a Twitter account and we promoted it. And we have uh, 30 followers that are interested on our launch date.